Hi there! This is going to be a very exciting video because as the title um, uh, puts it, this is a flea market um, haul and um, they are all luxury labels. Okay, you won't, you won't believe what um, I found. Uh, I found two Chanel handbags and yes, they are authentic. One Cartier happy birthday bag. Um, but like in the La Panthère style, another Italian handbag, a Marnie handbag, a Carolina Herrera um, small photo holder, wallet style, and two pairs of um, shoes. The other one is a pair of authentic Chanel sneakers, and the other one is... Um, I know it's a high-end brand, although um, Google does not produce um, any results at all. Uh, it's called Furusi or Furlissi, but we're going to talk about that later. I have already made um, three videos here, like I featured my Marnie handbag alone, my Chanel handbag in white alone, and the big clear plastic um, Chanel handbag. So if you're interested, or maybe you already uh, watch that. But anyway, if you would like an in-depth review of, of these things, um, just scroll down my channel. I have yet to review the shoes though. Okay, so let's start off with the smallest, smallest, smallest thing that I have here. This is so tiny. I thought it was like a pocketbook, like a prayer book or something. But when I saw, of course, CH... Um, everybody knows um, what this uh, brand stands for. Of course, if you know um, luxury brands, you would be like, oh, that is um, the monogram for or the sign for Carolina Herrera. And she is a very, very famous uh, luxury designer. And of course, this is made in Spain. I saw this, uh, the flea market. All of these were bought um, in the span of two days. We have an indoor flea market that happens every six months. So um, as I've mentioned earlier, I wasn't planning to to buy anything because I never expected that something, you know, like these would um, show up because I was just uh, at the flea market just to get my vintage um, jewelry and, ju and vintage bags. Okay, so I bought this last Sunday. It's a very, very tiny chocolate espresso brown Carolina Herrera, and it's it's actually a photo, a photo holder, and this was priced at two dollars. Okay, so this is very, very cute. Actually, you can use this as a wallet. There's just a, a little insert here, and the rest are just uh, mainly for photo photographs. And uh, this is so tiny; it's probably just two inches by two, two two inch by two inch. Okay, and this was two dollars, <clears throat> and and I asked her, "Can I have it for one?" And I was smiling at her, and she said, "Okay." So clearly, she doesn't know who Carolina Herrera is. <laughs> okay, so you could actually um, there's a clip here, a snap button, and a button here. This is just actually actually really really cute and neat. It's like just so nice to have, and of course, it's suede. It's suede over here, and it says here, of course, everything is made made in Spain. So I got that for a buck, and I was just, it's just so nice. It's just so cute. Okay, now, this is a very, very new handbag. Uh, I mean, a clutch. I think um, this is a vintage style or vintage designer it's just so new. It's like it has never been uh, used at all. It may be a vintage style, but I could say that this is newish, like it has never been used at all. And um, I just love the bamboo, bamboo um, accent here. It's like Gucci-ish, but it's not. It's stiff though. It's very hard to open. There you go. So it's in a pebbled leather and excellent, excellent condition. And it smells leathery, actually. It smells so leathery. And it says here, Secconi, Secconi Piero, genuine leather made in Italy. So, I just love this. This is um, actually a bigger uh, than normal uh, wristlet. I would say it's a wristlet because of this thing hanging. 
but it's also a clutch but it's probably like 12 inches or less than 12 inches in length so this is very very spacious because it has a zipper in front and another zipper over there so i love love this so this has never been used you can just see that it's just so new and it smells so so leathery i i'm just wondering how it could smell like that when you know this is a very very uh, this is a vintage piece so maybe they just put it in um inside a box but even then you know uh, there would still be an old um an old storage smell but there is nothing at all it's like mm, it's just been of course i've already sanitized these bags and <laughs> um yeah so there you go next would be this okay so i you know that i am so in love with carte handbags i have um i actually own two more bags um downstairs i already sold my carte happy birthday backpack which is the same print as this one in patent leather but clearly this is in the um panther style this is the feline shape panther style or logo for cartier and uh if you've been watching my videos i have a very very classic and elegant um la panther uh rolled um uh, top gold um gold um over here a strap uh cartier bag so you can scroll down my channel and uh, yeah so i was just wondering because this is in the car in the happy birthday this, this is in the happy birthday uh leather happy birthday leather is in the patent leather and it has these it's either burgundy or white or it's like mint green and yeah so those are the the popular colors so this is a very very tiny cute cute cutesy handbag and it has the Cartier, um, Cartier, um, um, silk lining. My burgundy backpack had this lining, but my bucket doesn't have this Cartier monogram. It just has uh, a plain burgundy, um, lining, but this one has the Cartier thing and it says Cartier Paris. And um, I got this from this, they were very, very friendly, like two teenagers. Yeah, they were teenagers. They were very, very young girls. <laughs> and, <coughs> excuse me. And um, they sold it to me for, I think I got this for $4 or $3. And I was like, what? I got my Cartier for like $500 from a consignment shop. But that was, you know, in a in a stiff leather in a calf leather with um uh, with a rolled um no with a feline gold um hardware that snaps but of course this is a different thing and even so you can't get this even if you go on ebay so i was like three dollars four dollars i said oh, okay sold i was very happy because these are the these are the brands that I, I I love the most that I feature the most in my um in my bag collection review. Okay, now we go to this handbag, which is the Marnie handbag. It's of course you know that it's a very very high end Italian Italian handbag. Although it is underrated, it's not mostly talked about. Marnie bags are super super soft supple leather this is super super new by the way they call it the marnie gathered or ruched a uh, large handbag because of the pleatings here i just love it when they style it like this and um the leather is just so smooshy and i don't know what kind of leather this is and it says marnie the hardware i never expected i would find a marnie i've always wanted a marnie bag I wanted to order it on C or I think eBay at one point, but I said, um, no, my obsession is not that uh, when it comes to Marnie yet. But finding one like this is like, oh, okay. I, I got this for $15. I was surprised because she didn't know this brand. She was selling the coach for a lot higher, like $80 or $50. She had several coach bags there, and but this one was $15. I was like, huh, huh? <laughs> but anyway... Um, I overpaid her. I paid her twice and uh, she did not um, 
tell me the vendor was not honest enough to tell me that I paid her twice. Okay. All right. So there you go. Anyway, $30. So I paid her $30 instead of $15. Okay. So no big deal. I love, love, love this handbag. Um, this is like $800 to less than $1,000. So um, this is a very, very high. This is very, very big. It's very, very slouchy. It's like 18, oh no, sorry, 17 inches. And um, this is just really, really nice. And when you wear this, no, no one is going to be wearing the same bag as you. And I like that. It's very, very exclusive. Although I think the resale value is not that. Um, they are very, very well known for their trunk bags. There are so many. There are not a lot of reviews online on YouTube. I think um, there are some reviews, but by um, uh, these uh, Chinese uh, um, girls or ladies who love Marnie. But of course, we don't understand <laughs> what they say. So I've made a video on this and just look at that. And this is very, very new. It smells newish, like fresh out of the box. It smells leathery. Mm, even up to this point and I just can't help smelling it. My husband's like, what, what are you doing? I just love, 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 love this. So, and it's super, super new. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not. It has a, it's like a flap. Okay. And it has a zipper here and another zipper and some other pockets there. So it has the Mario logo. Of course, it's made in Italy. There you go. And there is a thing here that's made in Italy. What? What got me was, of course, um, the hardware. You know that I have this obsession when it comes to bag hardware. I like clasp. I like closure. But I have mostly a lot of gold closure. Not a lot of, um, not a lot of silver hardware, though. And the size, the size was just, it was just, it's just massive. Super, super, super massive. Okay. Next is this. <coughs> I'm sorry. Next is this authentic Chanel summer collection quilted handbag in matelas lambskin leather. Okay, so that's very, very long. And I bought this for $40. It was initially up for $65. Yeah, I saw this the first day. They had a two-day sale. I mean, two-day affair. I saw this on the first day, but I wasn't convinced yet that it was a Chanel, although I had a hunch. And then um, when I came back home, I said, oh, shoot. I think um, it's a real Chanel. So I had to go back um, the next day. Uh, I, I went back at 2 p.m. already, and good thing it was still there. The thing why it didn't sell is that because it doesn't have any C's, you know. Um, you know, if it has a C, probably it would have sold right away. But it's just so subtle, and um, I just love, love the leather. And that's why I got this, because the leather, I was like, Hmm, this is a very, very good, um, very, very good handbag because she said this is 50 years old and this is a vintage, the display said it was hanging, um, and the display said vintage bag and it's just so good. And this looks exactly like the leather on my classic first Balenciaga, but this is, um, just thicker, of course, and everything. So I did my a very, very extensive research. I did a lot of research and um, yeah. So this is the, the, in the summer collection and um, there are only three things, three of these on online that are being offered up for sale on their price of 850 to um, 750 for the other one. The other one is 800 something. Okay, so I love, love, love this. So it's like a beach um like a beach tote <laughs> or or whatever you call it i just love this i went back the next day and i was able to get this for 40 bucks and all i have to do is to um uh have probably the um um bring it to a shoe repair and have them just improve this cuffs but i think it's um okay as is it's okay as is. So I've I've compared it to the pictures online down to the last stitch. And this is just as, um, you know, exact and as precise as, uh, you know, the pictures online. So I love, love this. 
the chains are chains are really really heavy the uh, the the thing why i did not uh, buy this right away was that i could not see any chanel sticker but when i research uh the stickers are supposed to be here but of course it's been used she said she had this she she bought this 50 years ago so it must have been you know removed already besides they were not big on stickers before because uh, they they probably didn't foresee about uh, you know the replica things so the so so they did actually it's a, a very very used bag she said she used this as a beach bag it's like a workhorse so so there and there's um blackening well it's not blackening but of course it's just uh, the natural um is, um as you use a leather bag it actually darkens so it's like uh, the patina but i think i could um uh I'm going to send this in professionally to be um, to be uh, restored. I love, love, love this. But I have to weigh the costs because if the cost is going to be very, very expensive, then I might as well just keep it and then just uh, use it as is. Next is... <coughs> I'm sorry. This Chanel uh, reissue style tote bag in cream. It has like a, a wild, uh, wild serpic stitching. Uh, in, in diamond stitching but it's only missing a clasp over here and yeah so i got this for five bucks for those who have watched my um uh, previous videos i've been doing them earlier on today um this may sound a repetition but for those who have not watched and just uh chanced upon this because of the catchy title <laughs> okay so it's like a distressed leather like a distressed leather so it this was not actually exposed but when i asked uh the vendor do you have any other bags and she said i have some bags under the i mean under the table in the bin so this was in the dirty dirty pile it's like not worthy to be um to be shown so i went there and i was like oh i spotted it i was like wow oh, it's 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 a chain bag so it could be a chanel but i was and then i saw this oh yeah it's definitely a chanel and then i saw everything so the fonts are correct i've researched everything i own um two chanel handbags but uh you know it's always nice to um uh to refer to the internet because uh, this is another model in fact i don't even know the exact name it's it's this is a very very rare handbag and this was super super dirty it had sticky things like candies or i don't know if it's candy or um they might have left a candy there uh because it was so sticky and thick so i already um cleaned this but of course i have not um cleaned this bit this one <laughs> i don't know maybe i have to send it in for professional cleaning okay and also the zipper when i saw the zipper the, the woman was looking at me while i was checking all these things but she was like i asked her how much for this because i didn't even ins inspect it i said how much for this she said five bucks cool good you just have to wait for me though because my husband still has the money and he went to the um he went to uh, the atm machine okay so it says chanel and it says cc and of course the creme de la creme um for this to be authentic is this one it's uh it's um it looks very very authentic one one two seven five nine five and um yeah so this i think was between 2006 or 2008 or somewhere between that okay so and i love this and everything is good everything is just really really nice the chains are very chunk i mean heavy and um yeah the only thing is here they, it has two pockets though on both uh i mean front and back it's this um um of course this is the um wear that's where um this must have been rubbed this must have rubbed of course um against and it has um uh, stained i think i could have this i'm going to have this repainted okay so i could use this i'm gonna send it in to the um to the um professional restore chanel restore so um it's like a crinkling thing okay now here 
I just um, washed these and <coughs> I'm amazed nobody bought this. It was on display and uh, an old woman was, um, was uh, when I saw it, I didn't know it was Chanel, of course, because I didn't, it, it looked like a, a Warren Converse for me. <laughs> but when I inspected, it says hmm, Chanel. So, and then the next thing I did was I had to um, fit it. And hmm, it, it fits me perfectly. It's like the, the, the woman was like happy that somebody, somebody um, fit this one probably because it's too small and nobody's been buying it. And I asked, how much for this? She said, two bucks. Okay, sold. Two bucks for, um, for a, um, an authentic pair of Chanel sneakers. And they are very, very comfortable. I was wearing an open-heeled sandals yesterday when we went to that indoor um, flea market. And then when we went out, it started to rain. So I, <laughs> so I just cleaned this a bit with tissue paper. And then I started wearing them. And they are so freaking comfortable. It's like my Prada shoes. I have a Prada patent leather and electric blue it's the feeling is the same and of course when i saw it it was like okay let me just show you this one i already uh, cleaned this in the washing machine here the first indication was i haven't um put the thing here is a chanel it says chanel there and then chanel here again i don't think i did a good job this is like a denim i like the distressed look though so um because i have jeans that are distressed and um, it has the CC there, Chanel, Chanel, and then it has numbers there, although it's barely readable, but here it's readable. Okay, you can still see it. And absolutely, and I like it here because I thought this was like, what is that? Did, was it like a wear and tear? I thought it was, but I think that's, it's the distress. It's like, um, this was supposed to be like CC. If you can see that, it's a CC, but here you can see that CC. So it's not so obvious here. Oh, yeah, I think you can see that. It's a C, C. I thought it was torn or something, but I, but I said, okay, everything. I think these are, I'm not sure how to remove these uh, yellowish thing. I think when it gets wet, it does that. But they are, I'm telling you, super, super comfortable. And of course, see, Chanel, Chanel, made in Italy, Chanel made in Italy. So it was like, these were comfortable even if they were in chanel they they caught my eye because of the light blue it's like faded um denim effect and uh, i love it plus they fit me so uh, the vendor was happy to see you know see it go i was like she said two bucks really okay ah uh, okay i didn't have to bargain <laughs> and she has another pair and i bought this because they are very very Maybe if one of you could tell me or any or anybody tell me what it is. I've been trying to research. It says Furusi or Furlisi or Furtsi. I, I don't understand, but I know that it is it is a very, very unique and colorful. It, this is like a sneaker, espadrille, soul thing that's going on. And I know this is real. I mean, I, I know this is like a kind of newish. Okay, it says M16 cheer and it has... It has these um, pins. I think the other pins were removed. But here, this has five pins. Okay. Got Brains, Angry Bird, Marine National, M uh, M16 Cheer. So, I don't know if, if these were original to the sneakers. And she told me, I asked her, what are these? Did you just put them here? And she said, no, they came with that. So, Angry Birds really? So, maybe, I don't know if she really put them on purpose she said that this was owned by somebody who who, who likes um, uh, sneakers and who buys really high-end sneakers. So, yeah, I'm not surprised because, you know, it's from the same person who, who owned this, these um, Chanel sneakers. So, so here, is, here is the name. If you could um, spell it out for me. Or um, it says for F-U-R-L-I-S-I. Or F for Lucy. I don't know if it's for Lucy. I've never heard of this. I tried googling it, and it doesn't produce. It did not produce anything. So um, F U R. I thought it was. I even tried L T S I because of the um, hyphen on top of the I. So um, 
that is the name maybe you could help me out on that and um it doesn't have anything in the sole so this is like triple layer so there's a rubber there's a rubber and then there's an espadrille sole here i think they are called espadrilles so rubber whatever you call it i know they have them <laughs> and it has a serial number here too um it has something like that i think these are a little bit big for me i'm a size six so i think um, I just bought them anyway because I could always gift it or I could always give it away. But what caught me was this. Look, this is like a pony hair. I mean, who in their right ma mind with um, with a cheap brand would manufacture this? I know this is high end because of the work put into it. Plus, it's comfortable. It's very high. It's a high top. It's very, very comfortable. I thought it was a Nike thing. I'm not sure if it's a Nike pony hair okay i have a fendi pony hair baguette uh forever mama back there it's like that and the pink the neon colors just pop out and um i just love this this is a very very interesting uh, addition i don't know if that is original to the sneakers but the seller said the old woman said yeah she bought like that but i said how come there are only two here or maybe see how come there are only two here? So she said, maybe it got lost. And it's Angry Birds. So this must be new. Angry, when did Angry Birds come out? <laughs> Probably my kids are into, uh, my boys are into Angry Birds. So this is like two inches. It's like a platform. It's a very, very thick. But I love this because I'm not a teenager, of course. <laughs> I'm very old to wear these. But I might give it a go. It's just fun. It's going to be like a, a statement piece. It's going to be like uh, like an icebreaker. Everybody's going to, you know, hello, what are you wearing? <laughs> because it's really, really, I may, I may, you know, I don't know. I, it takes guts to wear these. If you're a teenager, you could rock this. But if you're kind of old, I don't think, you know. So, well, I'm not kind of old. But, uh, you know, I'm not a teen teenager. You can play with anything. But uh, right now, I'm just being safe. Because you have to wear something that is age-appropriate <laughs> as much as possible. Okay, so there you go. So, I think I did good. So, uh, can you believe that? Cartier, uh, Chanel, not just one, but two. Two handbags and a Chanel pair of sneakers and a Marnie. So... And a Carolina Herrera. Okay, so uh, nobody can top that. Um, so, um, yeah. So, I hope someday I could find a 255. Uh, like a flap, a proper flap bag that won't need a lot of uh, restoring or TLC. But, you know, this is okay. You know, I can wear it like this. It doesn't actually bother me. And I don't know how to how to clean. Um, this is vinyl to how to clean a clear vinyl. Uh, they said soap and water, but it has scratches. So, um, yeah. So, there you go. It's the most exciting um, find ever for me. Um, well, I love going to thrift shops. And um, I started going to flea markets like a year ago to flea market a year ago and um there's only one flea market in our area and that only happens twice a year so um so so there because that's where i get my most exotic vintage jewelry and vintage bags so i hope um you know i can you know have the same luck over and over and yeah so it's really really nice so for all these i spent a total of 120 dollars $120 or less. Oh, I paid $40 for this and $5 for that. So it's like, and then I overpaid the woman and uh, yeah, so two bucks, three bucks, so 15 bucks. So, okay. So I think I did good. And this was $4. So, so, so there. Okay. So I did good. And, um, this is to inspire you before I could never go into a thrift shop before because of the smell. The smell was just awful. It's like, it's not a Clorox. It's like smelly, smoky smell. I, I can't figure, I, you know, I can't tell you what it is. It's like hard to decipher what kind of smell it is. And then I would be sneezing all the time. But because our, because uh, we had to wait for our 
for our kids to go. Um, they had to go to their religious education, um, Catholic religious education every Tuesday night. So we have like, we would have like an hour and a half to spare while waiting for them. And right next to our church is a Goodwill uh, and a Salvation Army. So that's when we started going. And I'm like, hmm, I, I would get a lot of books there. That's when I started, you know, looking at the uh, vintage bags. And I'm like, hmm, hmm, hmm. So, so I'm hooked. And um, yeah, so there you go. Let me know what you think. Okay, bye.